Hi guys, this is our new section, Parsing and Extracting Data. We will start off this section with parsing CSV and TSV files using Univocity and parsing XML files using JDOM. We would then write and read JSON files using JSON Simple. Later on, we'll extract web data from a URL using JSOUP and from a website using Selenium WebDriver. Lastly, we would read table data from MySQL database. Let's start with the first video, parsing comma, separated, and tab separated value files using Univocity. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can parse CSV files and handle data points retrieved from TSV files. Another very common file type that data scientists handle is comma separated value files, where data is separated by commas. CSV files are very popular because they can be read by most of the spreadsheet applications, such as MS Excel. To do this, we require Univocity. We download the Univocity parsers file from this link. Then create a CSV file from this data. Name it test.csv. The extension of the file should be .csv. We save it in C drive. After that, include Univocity Parser's JAR file in our project in Eclipse as external library. Create a Java project and name it as Test Univocity. Then, go to Libraries and add external JARs and select Univocity Parsers. Now, create a class and name it as Test Univocity with public static void main. We create a method named parse csv string that takes the name of the file as a string argument. Then we create a settings object. This object provides many configuration settings options. And for this, we need to import csv parser settings. So we do that. Next, we configure the parser to automatically detect what line separator sequence is in the input using this line of code. Create a row list processor that stores each parsed row in a list. For row list processor, we need to import this library. We then configure the parser to use a row processor to process the values of each parsed row. We can find more row processors in this package but we create our own like this. If the CSV file that we're going to parse contains headers, we can consider the first parsed row as the headers of each column in the file. Now, we create a parser instance with the given settings. We'll need to import CSV parser for this. Okay, the parse method will parse the file and delegate each parsed row to the row processor we defined. Now, import java.io.file. Since we use file, we have imported this package. If we have parsed the headers, the headers can be like this. We can then easily process this string array to get the header values. On the other hand, the row values can be found in a list. The list can be printed using a for loop in this manner. Here we import java.util.arrays as we have used arrays and java.util.list for list. Finally, close the method. To get the output, we need to add this code. This one is to create the object and this one is to parse the output. Now, run the code. You'll see the output like this. There are many CSV parsers that are written in Java. However, in a comparison, Univocity is found to be the fastest one. You may see the detailed comparison results by visiting this link. We've retrieved data points from CSV file. Cool! Let's now move on to TSV files. Unlike CSV files, tab-separated value files contain data that is separated by tab delimiters. 
we use the same Univocity jar file we downloaded earlier. Create a TSV file from that data. The extension of the file would be .tsv. Save this file in C drive as test.tsv. Now, go to Eclipse and create a project named test.tsv and add Univocity parsers as an external JAR library. Create a new class test TSV. Check public static void main. We create a method named parse TSV string that takes the name of the file as a string argument. The line separator for the TSV file is a new line character or N. To set this character as the line separator, we modify the settings. Using these settings, we create a TSV parser like this. This is to create the object, Settings. After this, we need to import this package as we use TSV Parser. We parse all rows of the TSV file at once. In this case, we'll have to import java.util.list as we use list. And for file, import java.io for file. We use a for loop to iterate over the list object to process the rows. For this, we need to import arrays. Finally, close the method. This is the full method. Oops, I just forgot. We need to import TSV parser settings as well. We need to call the TSV file. Now, run the code. We can see the output over here.